from NBC News. This is Today with Kathy Lee Gifford and Hoda Kopi. Sometimes you hear a remarkable story that seems so much like a divine coincidence, it can only be described as a Godwink. Squire Rushnell is the best-selling author behind the Godwinks book series, and he's here to share another incredible true story. Well, are you ready for We're a Godwink? We're okay. ready. Well, well, noted photographer Lisa Brown Langley was in her late 20s mm -hmm. when she was shopping with her dad in London for her 30th birthday. To buy her something, he wanted to buy her something that he had bought each of his daughters, okay. an heirloom Hermes scarf. Yes. But Lisa thought differently. As my father and I walked by the shop, there was a brown and orange Hermes scarf hanging in the window. He said, it's your time for that special scarf. I said, oh, Dad, I'm so appreciative, but you know me. I'm an artist. I just wouldn't wear an Hermes scarf. But the moment I said those words, I wanted to take them back. I worried that I'd hurt my father's feelings. Nearly two years later, Dad was diagnosed with leukemia and died. My heart was broken. Although I wanted to curl up and hide away, my father's strength and belief in me guided me to take stock of my life and honor his vision for me, to be the best photographer I could be. Fast forward 20 years. During that time, I had often thought about that day when dad wanted me to buy that special scarf. I was approaching my 50th birthday. When my husband Brendan asked me what I'd like as a birthday gift, I shared with him the story about my dad and how much I had regretted turning down that scarf. It wasn't me then, but it is me now, I said. Brendan looked at me sweetly and asked, would you like one of those scarves now? I smiled and said, I love you, honey. But honestly, that moment has passed. I didn't want to hurt my husband's feelings too, but the truth was, if it wasn't from dad, it just wasn't the same. Days before my birthday, I had received a package with my Aunt Nan's writing on it, saying, don't open till your birthday. I couldn't wait. I went upstairs to my bedroom, and I sat quietly, and I opened it up. My hand felt something silky. I started shaking. I just knew. I really knew. It was a beautiful brown and orange Hermes scarf. The note read, Dear Lisa, Happy birthday. Years ago, your father gave this to your grandmother on her 80th birthday. She, in turn, gave it to me. I'm sure she and your dad would want you now to wear it in good health. Love, Aunt Nan. I yelled down to Brendan, I got it, I got it. Dad sent me the Hermes scarf after all. It was clearly a God wink from heaven. <laughs> that God wink. That is a mess lately. <laughs> Uh, sweet. That God wink was a wonderful reconnection between Lisa and her dad, and it's a reminder that God winks happen to every one of us as messages of little reassurance, mm -hmm. kind of like that wink you got from your dad when you were growing up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. A little wink across the table. You never said, what do you mean by that? But you knew it you meant, knew. hey, kid, I'm thinking of you right now. I'm thinking of you right now. So sweet. Yeah. Stop gushing. I can't help it. That was beautiful. <laughs> we love it about you, sweetie. Thank you so much, Squire. All right.